Well, hey there, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to British Columbia, where we're going to pretty much wrap up the last of the tasks and the last category of the contracts out of here. So we are up in the mountains, up in the woods. I've got my trusty ank, and we're going to get this truck, this fleet star, up to uh, basically here, I think is where it actually needs to go. So, yeah, we've got the van body on there. I've only got 108 liters. So, it's going to be pretty touch and go. So, first off, we will do the uh, do the repairs. So, just... Uh, uh, yeah, make sure you, you know, you pick the right truck, obviously. Fire up the old engine. And what we're going to do is sort of two tune a bit missions in tandem so we're gonna head down this way um, I could if I need to I don't think I will I can turn on the engine of the fleet star we got a nicer close I thought I'd, uh, I'd go with something beefy that doesn't struggle with the mud which is why we've gone for the ank. Something, you know, something a bit different towards the end. It's really not a truck I use very much, uh, mostly due to its the, the combination of its thirsty engine and tiny fuel tank, like 200 liters. That's that's nothing. But anyway, um, yeah. Oh wow, it's it's actually hauling this along better than I thought it would. And you might be thinking, but, you know, you've already got less than half a tank. Like, that's, uh, that's really bad. Ah, uh, I already, I already messed up. Let's see, right. Put that there. So the Poacher's Trail requires us to go through these woods anyway. Um, see, I lined the, <laughs> I lined up doing these missions, but then... I'd still actually messed up the execution. As I was there, I was in rambling mode. So we'll just quickly reverse up to the beginning. I'm not going to be able to plow through that tree, am I? Oh, that was close. So I'll... Uh, <laughs> it's one of these kinds of missions where... It's like follow the trail, but it's, dead. it's basically it's drive to the water with kind of a predetermined route. So you start up here because this is where the poacher lives. And it's going to finish down where the little stranded ship is. Come on, up you get, up you get, up you get. But yes, the fuel aspect. Oh, especially now because I've had to reverse back up there. Back up the hill. I'm now in even worse position compared to when I started. But it's going to be fine. Because the fleet star has got a bunch of fuel in it. And there's a fuel trailer in the fishing village, so it's gonna be dandy. Right, I'm gonna hook up back to the fleet star and then we'll head down to the old dock. Alright, so we're crawling down the hill. I forgot how much smoke this thing puts out. It's mm, just because you know, I like to move the camera around. If I go this side, great, it's, everything's just grey. <laughs> But anyways, yeah, if uh, if you haven't started or, you you know, you're quite early into British Columbia, uh, this truck's probably a pretty good shout for it. There's so much fuel in the map that it's not an issue to really uh, keep it running. So just as I get to this corner, I'm going to detach the winch because we're going to turn left. But I need to hit that first. And now the next stop is across on the island, so we've got to go up and around there. So we'll spin it around. Or try to, at least. Yeah, the big, uh, the big chunkoid tires really make fair mincemeat of the mud in the area and then if it's just a little too much you can just drop it into low uh, 
and chunk your way through quite easily. Like, you know, towing a vehicle that with, with its engine off, it's, you know, it's kind of a dead weight. But we're getting through here, no issues really. Oops, it appears that I have kind of wrapped the Fleet Star around a tree. So we're gonna have to remedy remedy that. Uh this should wait what? Ah oh, yes, the truck they just just autonomously driving. Hmm, right, how do I how do I get out of here now? Right, full lock left. I can't see for the smoke. Sorry, just come by you there. And also I'm gonna I'm gonna steal your fuel. That was the intent all along. Which, uh... Oh, oh, look, you can see where I made a wrong turn again. <laughs> On the way up the hill. Let's try and find a dry spot. Get some traction. Yeah, the smoke output. God. Like the Tager. That's probably the Fleet Star catching um, some route action there. Winding our way through these trees. I wondered about maybe the, um, the recovery units are only really big enough for scouts. So... Why bother? Where you can just put them on a flatbed. Right. Otherwise, yep. You just tow in. And the one they, they gave the Tatra Force is a bit rubbish. So it appears the, the Fleet Star is just... I don't know, I'm stuck on nothing. I actually got the engine on for it while I try and maneuver it. There's like a small lump that the Ankh could drive straight through, but the Fleet Star couldn't. Oh, there, I must have been that piece of root there. That was the root cause. Sorry. Right, get ahead, and because this bit's a bit mulched up, it was looking a little bit tippy there. Yeah, that front bumper is just almost like a mud plow. Come on, little fleet star. that there and now we will reverse out to the island even though we've been here I think this is what our third visit to this island for different missions the it's a little bit repetitive just going oh drive here oh drive here oh drive here again right So then, in here, look, this then next mission, visit the Porcher's Bow. Like, yeah, thanks. And then drilling spares, which I will have to come back for with a flatbed. I suppose I could have done this slightly differently, bringing like a roof rack of supplies for the Fleet Star. And all. 
on a flatbed, but it's fine. We've got a flatbed doing some work later on in the episode anyway, so. Right. Hitch up. Back through more marsh town. I mean, if you wanted absolutely zero trouble from this, you could use, like, the Dairy Special or, uh... Oh, the Kenworth, to be honest. The Kenworth can run a maintenance frame. Or use its, uh, roof rack to fix up the truck. Tricky bit is going to be around this corner where there's a big puddle. get through is yes probably gonna be safer to low gear this come on over the boulders some firmer ground so those front wheels can claw at it to uh, help pull us forward As we descend into the water. Back into low gear. This might be a, a get out of the other side. To pull. Or it's just decide, come on, there we go. I don't, see, I don't know why the winch made all the difference there. Right, it's just been a bit more Straight and narrow. Oh, now from here I can winch to multiple points on the fleet star. Like the um like the the selection system for the winch points, it just seems to vary so much for no reason. Why aren't all the options on the vehicle that you're trying to connect to available at all times if you're close enough? doesn't matter if the winch phases through um because i mean because you can attach the winch anywhere anyway oh my god the front bumper on this thing is awful all right back it up nope there we go And it's caught on it again. Uh, what if I push it from behind? Will that work? I don't know. I've never tried it, really. Oh, no. I'm going to be too high, I think. Yeah, I'm just... I'm just going to uh, slowly mount it. All right, I'll have to pull it to the side. Come on, climb the hill. There you go, right here. Yeah. Now it's right in the middle, so it's going to be really difficult to get past. 
but it's okay because I think I can just uh, just drive over it. It's a criminal vehicle anyway, doesn't matter. Gosh, yeah, the front bumper is just a bit of a joke on this thing. Good old mud plow. Oh, there's so much smoke. So much mud, so much smoke. Alright, so we'll fuel up. Now it's a case of just making the delivery. It's horrible. How was this ever allowed? It's just plumes of black smoke. Alright, so this, yeah, it's pretty much, it's easy peasy from here. And then next is I, I, hmm. it must have been a mission that spawned after we completed the fish uh, the camp fish factory. I just didn't realize it had popped up. Uh, but it does require that we go back to uh, Duncan Bay for some cargo. As we need two cement and two metal rolls. Although I think I actually could have got the cargo from both sets of cargo from Duncan Bay. So uh, perhaps this, this just makes it easier. Oh yeah, maximum 10 tons. No resign. I'm sure I can comply with that. That'll be 10 tons of like crawling speed as well. So it should be the next left. All right, there we go. So much smoke. <laughs> right, it's uh, interior, no smoke this way. Oh, whoops, that hurt. Why do they put that post in the middle? Alright, swing it around. There you go, there's the poacher's vehicle. It's a thing, is it in, is it in here? It's not special order. Yeah, this is the one. As we're nearby. Ish. Oh, well, I mean, I'll top up with fuel. I'd be a fool not to. What? I'm s What? Insufficient space? Is that because of the ground rather than the truck? Let's put the back of the truck in the air. 
Oh yeah, I don't get the red. What? What a load of rubbish. Insufficient space, my ass. All right, let's turn and burn. What a joke. There's this negative overhang. Ah, uh, ugh. This game at times, man. Insufficient space. What an absolute joke. Alright, let's rip it up this hill. Now, realistically, I'm probably not going to make it if I drive like I just did in the previous 10 seconds all that way. Especially because I can't refuel. You have to drive this thing carefully, gently. <laughs> Although some of, some of the terrain is a little bit like this bit. Alright, low gear. Nice and slow. I can't believe I couldn't attach a trailer. I should have tried some other trailer options. Wait, that doesn't make any sense. Right. So in my, in my setup, I moved this trailer from this position with this truck. So... Why couldn't I attach? It's not a truck issue. Oh, that is... Man, who tests these games? Insufficient space. What is it, like, a wall? An invisible wall in the way? That's why I turned around to put the back of the truck in the way. Like, up in the air. Oh well, right, let's <laughs> see when I get to the current side trailer. Alright, so we're at the trailer. Uh, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go this way, because there is a fuel trailer here. So, it means a slightly adjusted path, but it means, you know, I won't risk running out of fuel. No space. Right, so we'll, we'll get this all around and then we'll hit you uppie. Wheel spin. Oh, didn't like that. Bro, don't hurt me. Oh, itchy nose. Whoa. Ah, yes. Solid trailer physics. So solid everything physics. Right around we go down this hill. And just for the meantime, leave that there while we head up to here. Get us some fuel. I think this is what? In about an hour, I've refueled this thing four times. <laughs> that included so included setup and the now recorded. All 
All right, hitch up to the trailer once more. And a fairly straightforward drive to the Fisher Shore. This is down, looping through here, so we'll come through the back of the town at this point. And then <laughs> along the road, we towed the Fleet Star. Oh, yeah, these rocks are static. Just feather in the uh, the throttle in high gear just so I can actually make the corner. Yeah, I think this this trick could probably get a lot more use. Um, if if it, even if it had just fifty more liters in the fuel tank. Um, uh, a common complaint I see is that it's very tippy, but uh, tippy Northern normally comes at speed, so if you just regulate your speed a bit more, you know, I've not fallen over, and you've seen I've been throwing this around like a lunatic. So just, you know, temper, temper your speed a little bit, and you'll be fine. But yeah, if it's just a 15 more liters... That, I think that would make a huge difference. All right, so we're in the back of the town, so I've got a chance to refuel again, or at least uh, top myself up. Although, I'd say I'm not going to need it, but you never know. So it doesn't hurt to uh, to do it. So we just got big we are. Uh. All right, so hit the refuel once more. Am I going to make this turn um, without hitting a sign? Oh, yes. Damn. All right, so yeah, I mean, it's now just a case of uh, following this road, really. It's no no difficult feat. Well, the only difficult feat is keeping fuel in the tank. All right, so we're pretty much here. I mean, yeah, I did I did not need to refuel. I only used I only used 38 liters uh, from the fuel station. Oh, oh, hang on, that has to go in the box. All right, well, I think that's this side of the map. Oh, apart from that one cargo, that's. This side of the map pretty much finished. I'll leave this here in case we need to repair anything. But for now, we're going to jump into Duncan Bay. All right, we are in DC, uh, DC Bay, and we're back in the Mac. Um, we are not doing help in the investigation. Uh, we're doing a task for the national park, but because we're not in there, we can't display the task. Right. I know, come on, mate. I know you got a bit of weight on you, but you can do it. So it's this and two metal rolls that have to go where the yard is currently parked, which you might have seen if you drive past. So once, uh, yeah, so the two cargo locations are entirely opposite to, uh, all right, <laughs> to where the drop off is. So it's not really worth gathering all four items of cargo together. Just that. There are just a few little spots in uh, in British Columbia that are just they just like they make you grumble. But 
think at the moment I can't quite get enough power into the engine to sustain high gear. I might be alright now though. Yeah. At the cost of quite a bit of damage. Alright, drop down. Yeah, this the because uh, <laughs> these outcrops are absolutely annihilators otherwise. And we are across there, and then it's up the hill and back down the other side, and then up the other other side of these outcrops. That was quite dangerous. I don't know why you wouldn't dig that out when you were putting the track in, but whatever. I blast it out. Right up the other side of the valley. I always got to watch that dip. And into the National Park. Oh, uh, ba ba ba. There we are, support local businesses. It's not really supporting them though, if you're making them pay for materials. That's just doing jobs for other people. I don't know. <laughs> Alright, yeah, nice and easy. Simple drive. Just cruise into town, taking up both lanes, ignore the stop sign. Slam the brakes on. Oh, maybe a bit too much. I was trying to go for a power slide, but uh, we just pretty much stopped outright. Near enough. And then, yeah, we got this small drop off window. Oh, so it looks like I can just go up there for metal rolls, which is nice, so we'll back it up. I'll just double check. Oh, great. My favorite factory. <laughs> right, so it is... Another place to get the metal rolls is, yeah, the canned food factory which they would use for they must have an excess if they're willing to provide us with metal rolls which I presume you know they would be using for making tins and uh, yeah they must have quite the surplus all right so look at oh my god it's cruising up the hill I'm gonna try my alternate method of going all the way around went up here rather than diving straight in for the Lorden area see how different the experience is. Although with this pile of bin bags here, they really need to get that sorted out. Alright, concrete blocks, metal rolls. It's a bit of diff lock for when we're reversing. I think I'm just going to go straight over the middle. Come on, get the power in. Yeah! Mac and Cheesy. So pretty... Uh, uh, what? How am I damaging the fuel tank in so many different places? Oh, alright, that... Bloody Christ. Alright, that one was definitely on me. I nearly turned right then, into what would have been somebody's house. Yeah, you can't... Because of the way the stupid gearbox works, you can't really, without just fully losing control, you can't really throw it in to do slides or anything. The auto, the auto kicks in and it just goes off first gear. Alright, we are back. Trucking through the bog. And about to get to the boat to grab the drilling spare parts, whatever they've been used for. Although I haven't really been uh, reading the little mission blurbs. 
So that might have been explained somewhere. I don't know. But here we are. So this is, this is, in effect, the penultimate mission. So I hope you have enjoyed the series. There's still one more to go where we shift the boat. And although you'd have technically missed this, uh, I did ask in the Discord which struck to you. So, so if you would like to be involved in those kinds of decisions and whatnot, or just generally keeping up and chatting with a nice community, there is a link to the Discord down below. Which is, you know, it's Discord, so it's free to sign up for. You don't have to be a member or anything. You can just jump in. Uh, right, restore the crane and pack the cargo. And off we go. Back across the river. Oh, have we uh, we hit a boulder that we can't mount? Look like we had done. going to be a little bit bumpy while well, we get through here once again. We've got this a little bit of extra weight on board. All right, approaching this nice little pond of water once more. Did nearly fall over on the way through. There's a little bit of a mound that just kicks the side of the truck out. But, quick winch saved it. As we crawl agonizingly through. Yeah, as the more times you come through, the worse it gets. So this is one, two, three, four. This is the fifth time through here. You know, because I kind of dragged a fleet star through it earlier, so... Somewhat tricky bit. Just going to avoid the water altogether this time. There we are, pretty much. Oh, as I was saying it, I was going to say I'm pretty much home free. Uh, then we dug in. There we go. So now it's just a case of making it to the police station, which uh, is just in the middle of the map. So I will see you for the delivery. All right, rolling into town now. Where uh, exactly is the police station? I don't think we've specifically been there. Oh, yeah, there it is. Ah, uh, turn in circle. Ah, uh, one, two, three. There we go. Oh, that's nine and a half thousand. Which leaves us... Apart from the contest. Uh, special order. And, uh, and that's it. So what does that actually put us at? 94%. What? But, uh, yeah. Join me next time for the final episode where we deliver the big bad boat. So I want to thank you all very much for watching. I've been Dak and this has been SnowRunner, the British Columbia DLC, and have a great day.